I've seen Mika being very consistent with his switches and, and taking the kill there. Right right right. so right, so right, so right. Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome to day two. It is very early in the morning, so 5.30 a.m. I haven't slept yet, actually, so I'm not exactly sure how long I'll go before going to bed, but... We're starting the video off with 78 attack, which is the attack required for wielding the Vesta's weaponry and 86 strength. We're gonna f push for 99 strength next, obviously, and then after that 99 attack, after that 99 defense, and we're currently 66 slayer, nearly done with my black demon tasks. So there we go, I filled you in on the basically day one, but if you want, make sure you check the day one first before this video because a lot of things happened then, and obviously Obviously, if you missed it, you might as well watch it, right? So, the plan for today is actually very simple. Get as close to 85 Slayer as possible. So, let's see how close we actually end up getting. I didn't even realize, but that Prayer Potion Supply Drop was 18 of them. That is freaking amazing. As you can see, my inventory is horrifically bad at the moment simply because well i was editing the video so i risked it i took 20 like i took my full inventory of prayer potions and uh, two super dose uh, potions with me um so yeah i'm kind of risking it but i have 15 left and i'm not going to bang before i finish this hopefully karma doesn't get me what a sick task that one was got a lot of prayer potions got look at this man Two rune chain bodies, two rune man helms. I'm stacked on cash right now. Also got 87 strength. Didn't record it. I was enjoying solo missions stream. And also got 67 slayer out of that beautiful, beautiful stuff. Uh, I'm quickly gonna buy uh, just two packs of water runes because uh, I will need them for Falador teleports. And yep, that is awesome. Let's see what the next task is going to be. All right, moment of truth. Please give me something nice. Black dragons, oh, very quick task. I can just uh, go right to Falador, skip it basically super quickly, get some bones in the process, probably get close to 52, and then just go right back. So amazing task. New task, fire giants. That's actually a very good task, nice. And look, peep my ear for a second here. We're literally balling, man. We have combat bracelet, full rune, everything. Strength amulet. We are ready to smurf. All right, just missed 88 strength. Probably gonna get 89 strength in this task. Maybe even close to 90. And got 68 slayer in the process as well. Getting that slayer level up very quickly, which is really, really nice. 89 strength, as said earlier, got it in the same task. 35 giants left and we are 69 slayer, getting closer to 70, so definitely getting up there, almost at gargoyles. Once we get to gargoyles, we start making very nice money of that task. So it's really, really exciting stuff ahead. I'm starting to have hard time speaking actually, so I think I'll be heading to bed very soon here. But 34 giants to go, let's do it. All right, the moment of truth. Some blue dragons, we're gonna do them momentarily. But there we go, man, 90 strength already accomplished. Nine more levels for that beautiful cape, and it's going pretty fast, man. 95 blue dragons left to kill, already 70 slayer. We're getting up there. Let's keep going. All right, I need a good task because... Bro. Neve, be gentle, please. Give me something nice. That's alright, we can get tier 5 emblems from that, I'll take that. Alright, we just got ourselves 91 strength, uh, and oh shit, we just got a, got a supply drop. Basically back to back almost, which is pretty cool. Um, nonetheless, 100 hellhounds left to go, nearly 72 slayer, so we are almost at a point where we can kill wyverns. And now the levels will actually start taking quite a little bit of time to accomplish. Um, I also started to, well, I stopped flicking for this task, mainly because, well, I'm just getting a little bit tired, so we're just chilling, praying melee, doing it a little bit slower, wasting a little bit more money, but we're all right at the end of the day, so just gonna get that 99 eventually, and uh, yeah, let's see how long it takes, I guess. 
Oh, that is what we like to see on the floor. Mysterious Emblem Tier 5, the first one of the tournament. If you're unaware of what that is going to give us, this is probably going to be a rune pouch. The first Tier 5 is going to be used on rune pouch, so we're going to have two extra inventory spaces. And the uh, further ones are going to be just used on potions or whatever. Uh, basically, a lot of money. If I want to, I can buy, uh, I think, 5 D-Sims maybe? I don't know. Basically... Is very, very good rebuild. I might not even use it for the pouch straight up, um, but it is very, very helpful. I'm gonna pretend I'm not that tired right now. Completely missed 92 strength, thanks to the stream, people reminded me, and I guess we're officially halfway done to 99. Uh, we're also only seven Hellhounds left on the task, nearly 73 Slayer. Uh, we can now do Wyverns if we want to, which is one of the best ways to get DFS. But that's not something we'll be going for. Um, so just gonna continue training strength. As I said, halfway done. Let's go. You guys don't want to know what just happened. I nearly died, actually, on this account. I was escaping on my alt account and someone saw it on stream that I wasn't paying attention and nearly killed me on this account, even. Okay. Oh my god. What the fuck? So, luckily we made it out somehow, and I was risking quite a lot of shit as well, including the tier 5 here. But at least we made it out, we're gonna grab a new task and then I'm gonna go to bed, I cannot play while so tired. Um, but it's okay, we survived, I guess, we're lucky. Let's see what the next task is real quick though. Holy fuck, that could have actually been... Very, very bad, but it's all right. We lucked out. We got mutated Zygomites. And I cannot do them because I would have to go and get myself like Draymon staff and shit. So I'll have to skip this one. I think I'll do skip right now. And then uh, when I get a good task, I'm actually going to end it for today. All right, please, Neve, give me something nice. Bro, here we go again. I think that's third time in a row. What do we get this time? Beautiful task. Nice. That's so good. Alright, I have finally decided to wake up, and please don't mind my fucked up voice, it's gonna be like that for a couple of minutes, but either way, uh, I ended up getting, well, 55 a range for now, I'm gonna get myself an Avas Accumulator, or a couple of Avas Accumulator, and I will continue to train range until 70, so then I can use Black D Height set, and that's gonna be very helpful against all the majors that are out there, uh, people have barrages already, therefore we need to protect ourselves, and I'm also gonna get agility up for uh, shortcuts uh, pretty fast right now. I'm gonna probably get one more range level here, because I'm really close to 56, then we're gonna get 31 agility for the next shortcut, gonna get Ava's accumulators, and then I'll turn the stream on and continue grinding Slayer, so let's see how everything goes. And here we go, we just reached 31 agility, which is the next small shortcut between uh, Champions Guild and uh, Drainer Manor, and that's gonna make it so I can get my Avas Accumulator very, very safely. So, let's go ahead, get that, I'll get three of them, I don't think I'll be dying three times, but uh, for safety measure. And uh, after that, we go back to Slayer, it's gonna be exciting. Here we go, devices, we're gonna take Ava's accumulator, and we're gonna take three of them, like so. Beautiful, back to training. First superior of the account, let me get that heart real quick. Superior, no, they don't have more chance to spawn, oh look at this, 30,000 experience, man, that's crazy. Blood rune, sea turtle, anglerfish, blood weld beautiful man it is beautiful let's see how much of everything we got not too much but that 30k xp is really really helpful here we go we are about to reach a very nice magic level which is 55 that means we can now cost uh, cast high alchemy which is also going to be a nice way to make some money i have a lot of things in my bank that i can high elk from warriors guild like all sorts of uh, mithril stuff um, but for now, I have these Wrath Runes that each out for 300 each, so we're gonna be making some money doing that for now. And uh, obviously, the goal is to get as high heart up on magic as possible. It also gives you magic defense, therefore an easier way to escape a PKer. Um, and I have 80 Blood Welds left, so we're gonna be doing this for a while, or at least until I'm 70 range. Once again, for the Dehide protection against mages. 
Superior number two, I believe. Come on, one more hit. 29,000 XP for some Samphio serums. 12 of them, that's sick. Blood Belt Head. Spider's eggs. We're gonna yoink all of it. It's not bad. It is not bad. Hit away. And there it is, 70 range, which is beautiful. That means I can now wear a Black D height set and we can also return back to melee training and speed everything up significantly. Also, if I get task anywhere outside in the danger, I'm also gonna get my agility up. If it's somewhere in this cave, I'm not gonna get my agility up because I don't have a need to. But yeah, that's pretty exciting, not bad. Here it is, man, 75 Slayer. Gargoyles unlocked, one of the best money makers to rebuild if I ever die. Super exciting stuff right there. Um, and we're very close to 93 uh, strength as well. So hopefully we get those gargoyle tasks, make some bank, and I'm excited. Alright, let's see. If I get shit task here, I'm gonna do Monkey Madness 2, and I'm gonna call Steve instead of Neve. Good, good, nice. And... Uh, I have a bit of an upgrade right now that just happened, so this is the deal I made with a friend of mine. Uh, so basically he gives me Black Mask very early on and I give him Best in Strud Legs basically at the end of the tournament. And uh, this item means everything to this account, as Saddled would say it. Um, it's gonna speed up Slayer significantly, and especially because we're gonna do a lot of Slayer, the Black Mask is just... It is just gonna help us out a lot. And we're very, very close to 93 strength as well. And we're probably getting very close to like a mil XP an hour right now. So we're looking at getting 99 strength in about 6 hours, I would assume. If we get good tasks, that is. And 93 strength was accomplished just a second ago as well. Which means that we are now officially over halfway um, to 99. So let's keep going. Hold up chat, I'll talk with you in a moment, I just need to get this level. There we go, 94 strength, we're like an hour away, a little bit less to 95. Uh, and we are 76 Slayer already, which is beautiful. <laughs> Wyrms, not again, dude. <laughs> not again, oh my god, I have to skip again, I'm not doing Wyrms. Boom, and Neve. Oh yes, Bloodveld, beautiful task. Nice, with a black mask as well, this is going to be amazing XP. There it is, 95. Four more levels to go, an hour away. Let's keep grinding. All right, can I get gargoyles? Cow fights? Fuck, I need to skip that as well. I'm not the luckiest with the, with the tasks. I'm gonna be completely honest, but it's fine. We're just going to quickly go ahead, get a new task, and we will be... We'll be... We'll blah, 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 blah. All right, please. That's all right, fire giants are good. We'll do them. Oh fuck, how do I miss that? Every single time I'm explaining something, I look away from the screen, I'm reading the chat, boom, miss the level. But 96 accomplished, about an hour again, I guess, away from 97. We are almost there. Let's keep going. Give me good task. I hate you, Neve. I hate you with passion. Skip task. Neve, we're gonna have a talk if you give me a bad task here, man. Ah, uh, it's okay. I can do this very quickly. All right, please. Kurask. Ooh, we are gonna do this for sure. Because you get a lot of nads doing it. So this is an amazing task. I'm just not sure if I want to melee it or range it. Probably range it and alk at the same time. That is very, very good, actually. Okay, what we're gonna be doing here is we're going to be trading in our... Um, our tier 5 uh, emblem. Wait, broad arrows. Right, right, right. I'm gonna have to buy broad arrows. I completely forgot about that. Um, but we're gonna quickly throw a mysterious emblem in here and we are going to buy ourselves a imbued scroll magic shorebow imbued scroll and I actually just need broad arrows for this one so we're gonna put this on the bow bow is now useful and let's talk to a slayer master buy broad bolts because I almost fucked up because these are not good for Kurasks. And then we're gonna go and do the Kurask task. And it's gonna give us nice range XP, nice magic XP. All in all, really good task. Alright, so 
In the previous clip, I was 43 agility. Right now, I'm 63 agility. There is a good reason I decided to get this up. I got it up by basically just doing agility rooftops. But the reason being is this unlocks very important shortcuts uh, for my next plans on the account. Uh, you'll be seeing the next plans in my upcoming video. And uh, but just to quickly summarize it, I want to get 71 agility. If you want to look it up, basically it's for shortcuts and it gives me a lot of safety in certain areas that uh, I otherwise wouldn't have. So it's a very important skill for me to train, but unfortunately it slows down my strength training. So I will not be reaching 99 strength today, but it is perfectly fine because the tournament is seven days long. It is not a um, sprint, it's a marathon. So uh, we're going to be having all of that done tomorrow. Um, for today though, I want to finish agility to 71 while uploading and rendering this video. And I really do hope you guys did enjoy it. So if you missed day one, definitely give it a watch. Check it out. It was a ton of fun. And if you already watched both of my videos, why not check out my good friend Solo Mission? He's doing some cool Deadman World content as well. I'll be leaving the links to his channel in the description. I uh, appreciate you guys' support. And I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow with the day three.